Hold up. Is this a black Thor? What is up you guys? Tony here. Know that this channel is about art and design tech. Consider subscribing. Let's get right into it. Some of you have been wondering, what if someone took a popular character and fixed them by making them black and giving them a black accent so they can be more diverse? Already I can say I've seen this before. Isn't Ariel in the upcoming Disney movie about to be live action? About to be black? Okay. Yep because that would be a good way to inspire representation in comics, video games, and movies, right? Wrong. Well, feast your eyes on the most positive creation from Marvel. Hold up, is this a black Thor? Okay, I'm just trying to figure out when Miles Morales got blonde hair and tats. Like, is this Chris Brown Morales? I missed that transition, I don't know. Does he also sing and dance? Like, questions that I need answered. Miles Morales in this looks like he could go to Atlantis. You know what I'm saying? He look like he could be Aquaman. You, in the next movie for the Justice League. But clearly fail to understand their target audience because I don't know who they made this for. Was that a black Loki also? Wow, we just making the whole cast black. Okay, we just Wakanda forever Thor story. Is that what we're doing? Okay. And looking at how this was received on social media, you can tell it went totally sideways. The what if Miles Morales was Thor issue is blowing up the internet for all the wrong reasons. From Asgard being Miles' hood, all the way to Frost Giants having fades. Everything about this issue just missed. They love Miles. They're gonna love Miles Thor. You know, it's like, no, this is a stereotype. Miles has depth and you made Asgard the hood. I don't understand. Why is Asgard rough? You know what I'm saying? Why you gotta duck and weave and die in Asgard? This issue relied heavily on black stereotypes and a misunderstanding of black culture as a whole. And that's why it fell so flat. I mean, who sat there and seriously thought by Odin's fade was the best thing to have Miles say? By Odin's fade? Wow. Everything with this issue has just shown how important it is to have black writers and black creators working on black characters. Yes. Let's read a few lines from the comic so you can put into perspective how bad this is. Of all the five realms, Asgard is his hood. For Miles, you can see he's just that good. We do not all rap and play basketball. Can we stop it? Asgard is rich people universe. You know what I'm saying? It's like a wealthy haven. It's like Wakanda. You know, Wakanda is a rich area. I beg your pardon? Hey, real quick, can we talk about what if Miles Morales became Thor? I wanna say real quick, I'm not hating on the comic book. Hey man, do what you gotta do, bro. But it seems to me, whoever wrote this book, I think he was Hispanic and white, I'm not sure. It seems like they've never spoken to a black person a day in their lives. One thing that is surprising to me is that nobody stopped this before it went into print. Like, I don't understand how they looked at all this stuff and was like, yeah, that's great. This is, they're gonna love this. Here's a few examples. A guy crashes in the room, all eyes on me. What? And this panel hits you with that. Man, that mission was straight fire. So some weeks ago, Marvel published their new Miles Morales comic where Miles Morales becomes Thor in an alternate universe. And apparently it was part of their What If series where they explored gender and race swapping different characters and telling their stories from this new perspective, which on its own is a pretty interesting idea. But just going through the few panels, you can immediately tell something feels a bit off. He now lives in a modern Asgard, which is literally shown as a New York neighborhood. There's sneakers hanging off of a cable to make it feel more like a hood. Tama is covered in graffiti. Honestly, one of the things that worries me is that when this person, this writer was asked to write this character, that they immediately went to, oh, this is what a black character does. I have to write them in the hood or somebody that's in New York that's also black. They have to be a basketball player. They have to be super hood and tatted up and have blonde hair. They have to have like a cut in their hair and sneakers and Asgard can no longer be a palace. It has to be the hood, the streets. It's just crazy to me. And even the imagery of the sneakers on the telephone poles, that really represents when people die. Like that's like a shout out to the homie type situation. And that's so crazy that they have that even in Asgard, like people are getting shot down in Asgard. like. It's so crazy that hood, that they had to bring a hood element to Asgard and Asgard couldn't be like Wakanda where it's a place for a king and you can be black and also a king and it's never debated with Thor. It's like Thor is like next in line to be the leader and it's a beautiful place. Like he is wealthy and that is very apparent and he has blonde hair and he's like, he's like all these things that are like, man, he's macho, he's muscular and all this stuff. 
and to put miles in this world and make asgard like bring asgard down to fit miles being present it's just so crazy to me and like mad disrespectful and really shows how disconnected this person is and they didn't even see what that brings about like how that displays how they view black people i also think that it could have been a black writer and this same thing could have happened you know when you look at somebody black that's in the streets you do have an image in your head like oh they live in new york they're black oh i know what that person looks like oh they're from harlem oh yeah you just automatically think of them a certain way and that's called a stereotype and it's not based on going to Harlem or being around those people, it's just based on what the media tells you. So you walk away with this perception. I'm, I'm glad they didn't have Miles in prison. You know, I'm glad they didn't have him interacting with policemen. You know, it's just, it's crazy. And that, I wouldn't be surprised if that's a storyline down the line, you know, if they would have continued this series over, like Miles against the police, Miles against da da da. It's like the black experience is not in a vacuum. Although we have, some different things that we go through it's not like we're all the same you know and it's frustrating i think when you think about even america and its origin the role of blacks even in that is people don't even have a clue about the black person's role in america and, and the things that we actually did and you could even you could even argue that blacks built america not credited for the traffic light and other inventions you can go list upon list you can even talk about nasa different things that there were women that did different things in nasa i even had an auntie that did stuff for nasa and wasn't credited for it and you know somebody else took the credit for the stuff that she did at the time but people want to continue to push these narratives because is black, I guess, ignoring the fact that Canon Miles is Latino. Miles wears a hoodie and Jordans to fit in with hip hop and urban culture, which apparently is the only significant thing that sets apart BIPOC from everyone else. The way he talks and carries himself in the comic is extremely stereotypical and it's exactly the kind of writing you'll expect from someone who does not properly understand a culture but tries to portray it using every single stereotype that has been spoon fed. To us by the media why can't it be another character you know what i'm saying why can't thor have a cousin that's black why does it have to be miles morales i get they probably want sales but don't use an actually good written well written black character to do this stereotypical insensitive thing i don't know and you know what i wonder shock value is so popular and it works it's effective we're talking about it so this might be a trend i don't know and clearly without even getting all the way to the end of this comic you can just tell this is a stereotypical and terrible way of representing people of color in comics the comic immediately got a ton of backlash on twitter with people calling the comics this year and saying things like why does urban thor feel almost more racist asgard is his hood got my chest heaving which is literally a line taken directly from the comics poorly written dialogue while the writer was so focused trying to make every single line rhyme with the next as if black people use rap as a form of discussion and interaction in their everyday life is when you have people that have never been around black people trying to write a story for black people to financially benefit from you know it's like what are you even doing a point to kind of back this writer a little bit is Unfortunately, our culture doesn't do much to help people be informed about black culture. I mean, we have a uh, stereotypical illustration of what a black person is. So it's unfortunate that that is the norm. And I don't know how they didn't see this coming, but you know, it's good that this happened. You know, maybe they can write some better stories and put some better people in position because I don't get it. Marvel, the movies are having more diverse writers even in the films and what was the falcon Winter soldier that was like socially aware of real black issues and you know the having a black character become captain america dealing with that taboo and here we are again you know the comic books is tripping they're playing games you know one thing i am excited about and glad that they did with the marvel avengers films nick fury was black and him being black did not make him a rapper him being black did not have him coming from the hood. Like we didn't get the black struggle with that character. He was just a competent, well-educated, well-capable in combat, even though he didn't have superpowers, person. Driven, 
he could give strategic strategy to superheroes and he he didn't back down from the responsibility like his blackness didn't x him out of being capable to do anything and i think this was a missed opportunity because they they reduced him down to a stereotype and it's frustrating because that really tokenized this character out of what made him important and valuable i mean it's just one comic it's not a big deal you know they're gonna rewrite it and there's been terrible comics a years you know terrible story arcs you know what i'm saying it's just like you killing off a favorite character hate it but i think in this situation it would be nice if just let let black people write this just let us let us give me the script let us do this you know what i'm saying we can take this thank you just make it a story about real people because those are more interesting than these fake stories anyway you know what i'm saying you can't write about what you don't know so don't Simple as that. Don't try. There's other people that could do it. Don't gatekeep. If you, you know, hey, I can't write this story. I don't know the situation. Maybe they were like, hey, do this or get out. I don't know what that conversation was like, but I find it frustrating when people gatekeep and they could easily be like, hey, I, I'm i not competent enough to write this with a really uh, insight into this. And I'm gonna let somebody else do it. I would not want to be the writer having possibly written a racist story on, you know, that it would be better that you didn't write it. That would have been better. Real accounts, authentic accounts, authentic stories are always way more interesting. Life is interesting enough. And for some reason, when it comes to media, whether it be comics, movies, TV shows, there's always this desire to twist reality into something that's more sellable but when we look at stories like breaking bad or stories that people have connected with or resonated with it's always because it feels real and that trumps everything else there's a complexity to real human behavior in problems and situations that cannot be manufactured just write real stories 